Here's what you need to modify baby doll pacifiers. You'll need super glue or a hot glue gun, scissors, popsicle sticks, and some pacifiers that you want to modify. You'll first want to take a popsicle stick. I got my popsicle sticks from the hair store, so they're a little bigger. You might want a smaller slimmer popsicle stick you're going to take the doll that you want to have the pacifier and you're going to see how far this popsicle stick can go into her mouth it can only go in about this far so i'm not sure that it will actually stay in this doll's mouth we're going to see if the popsicle stick fits in her mouth. Okay, so it does, it's a little wide. We can fix that though, and we can tell that we can cut it about at this point right here on the popsicle stick and glue that onto the pacifier. So this is when you'll need your scissors and you're gonna cut So then you have just the tip of it and we can cut off the side and make it a little narrower so that it will fit in her mouth better. We're going to cut off this side a bit as well. So then this will stick into her mouth and it won't be so wide that it tears it. One of the reasons you want to modify a pacifier for your doll is so that it won't tear the doll's mouth. And as you guys may know, that's happened to me before. And then you want to take a pacifier such as this, see how wide and thick this vintage one is, and you want to cut this off. Once you cut it all off, this one was kind of dry rotting a little bit, which means the rubber was deteriorating from being so old. And so I got rid of the whole rubbery part. We're going to now glue this part of the popsicle stick that we cut down and made narrow. We're going to glue it with hot glue right here. You could also use your super glue at this point. Here's the hot glue. Do it in a circle and tap it a little bit so that it won't have strings coming off of it. And then just put the tip of that popsicle stick that's modified there. And it looks a little bit silly, of course, but it doesn't matter how it looks because you'll only see the nook nook from this side. You know, you'll only see the binky from the front, so it doesn't really matter how crazy it looks from the side or the back. And now we let this dry and I'll come back, which will only be a few seconds for you, and I'll show you this in the doll's mouth. Here we are later on. And here she is with the pacifier, newly modified. That's cute. And I want to show you on this different doll that's not silicone. She's vinyl. This is my babe side doll. Oh, wow. It's so cute on her. I think I like it best on her, maybe. Oh, it's so precious. I think this actually goes with her better. Her mouth is like a weirder shape. Her tongue presses kind of up and out, and so it just goes with the shape of the popsicle stick really well and doesn't slip out. And the next easy way that I'm going to show you to modify the pacifier is just to cut straight across. You cut off the bulbous or round part of the binky or pacifier, and then this smaller, narrower part can slide right in to the baby's mouth. If you've been with the channel for a while, you probably know that with this baby Emily by Ashton Drake, she didn't come with her pacifier because I bought her on the secondhand market and I made this pacifier for her the other year. And it's just a vintage pacifier that's one of my favorites. It's so cute. 
And so I saved it and repurposed it as mainly her pacifier, but also for my baby alive, it fits perfectly in her little mouth. It's so sweet. I'm sure you've seen that if you've seen any of my Baby Alive videos. It even will fit in this Kimby baby's mouth. I just have to kind of manipulate it a little bit, like shimmy it in there. It's hard to get it in his mouth properly, and of course, I can't seem to get it in how, how I have before. But it fits this nice vinyl baby doll from Babeside better. Much easier. Super, super cute. This itsy ritzy pacifier, it bothers me how long the tip of this one is. And I don't want to have to use lubricant to put it in the silicone baby doll's mouth. I'm tired of kind of like forcing it in. So we're going to cut the tip of this one off. See how it's more bulbous right at this area? So just below that, I'm going to snip it. We know it's going to look good in Nyla's mouth here. That's much better. I don't have to fight it as much to get it into her mouth. And it will fit my lovely babeside doll. Oh, it's so cute. These all look so cute with her for some reason. That's just adorable. I like it best with her. Also, a really cool hack. You can use the hollow tip that you've cut off of one binky as a shield on like the wooden popsicle stick. If you don't want this popsicle stick to scratch or pull or damage your baby doll's mouth or you could just glue the silicone or rubber tip onto a pacifier that you've just cut the thing totally off of it and we're going to do a last one today i don't have many boy dolls but i'm going to cut the tip the bulbous tip off of this one All right, and then we can save the tip like I was talking about. And then this is shallow enough to fit into some more baby dolls. Okay, let's see if it will fit in the Kimbys. The Kimbys tiny mouth. And when it won't, you can cut more of the tips of this off like this. Cutting the corners off. It will make it, see how that's shaped differently? It won't be too wide for this tiny narrow mouth now. Perfect, see? Butamus. She looks good as a little boy. <laughs> that shape also fits baby Emily perfectly. And the blue brings out her lovely eyes. And let's try... This lovely sleeping Timu one. Yes. So remember, if this won't fit in, just cut off a little more of the sides of it. And it probably will. Which baby... Do you like the best with which pacifier? They're all cute in different ways. Let me know below how you like to modify pacifiers for your reborns. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this content and we'll see you guys next time.